With us now is Senator Robert Menendez, a member of the U.S. Senate Committee on Banking, Housing, and Urban Affairs. Sir, are we close? I think we're moving in the right direction. We're moving and getting the administration to agree to taxpayer protections and oversight board that doesn't let the Treasury Secretary be the only one who makes decisions, but that will be part of that decision making. Uh, limitations on uh, executive compensation, and in fact, we buy a significant amount uh, of these assets from any given single company. Equity or warrants in these companies that we may buy significant assets to, a special inspector general. Uh, to protect uh, the process uh, today. and accounting uh, and accounting by the government uh, accountability office on a quarterly basis. Uh, it, will it be done today? I think it'll probably not be done today. And of course, this is about getting it right, not just doing it. Well, quickly. it is about getting it right. I'm quite confident. But forgive the cynics who, who might ask you the question: How in the world are Democrats going to come to the table and be seen as having gone along with a Republican and White House deal here? How in the world can you do that, politically speaking? Well, this is one of those moments in which uh, you realize the challenge for the country. And as long as the White House continues to understand that if we have accountability, oversight, taxpayer protections, uh, some equity in these companies that we're going to give uh, uh, our assets to so that ultimately our money to, and they're in terms of their assets, so that we can ultimately protect the taxpayers and make sure that at the end of the day this does not cost them any money uh, and do something about people uh, keeping people in their homes, we will have moved in the direction that Democrats can support the administration because of the nature of the challenge before us. Well, Democrats are very well aware that John McCain has put himself into the position where if he comes back to Washington and this thing does not happen, he will have returned to Congress and failed. That's part of the reason you must admit, sir, that the Democrats came out with their statement this morning prior to his return to Washington, right? No, I think the, 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 the response to Senator McCain is, look, on Tuesday of this week you said you hadn't even read uh, Secretary Paulson's proposal. Now, uh, on Wednesday, you say you're going to jump into these negotiations of which you're not even a, a member of the Committee of Jurisdiction and you don't have any particular expertise. These are moving in the right direction. Uh, today, there was a bipartisan meeting with the Democratic and Republican members of the Senate Banking and Budget Committee. So we're moving in the right direction. I don't think that Senator McCain coming in uh, at the last moment without having even read the proposal originally earlier this week, not caring enough to read the proposal, now can make a difference. I think Senator, we're headed in the right direction. That's what we need to do. With so much great respect and admiration. You just said there are no politics, and then you laid out every bit of the politics. So, I mean, we're not we're not but crazy you out here. Question, we, we, we Shepherd, you asked me the question, Shepard. Shepard, you asked me the question. I didn't introduce it at all until I you know. asked me the question about him coming. And the point is, we are willing to join with the president and Republican to do what is right for the country. That's separate right. than John McCain introducing the presidential politics. I understand. Senator, very good of you to be here. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. So Republicans approve.